Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Emperor. Oh, and I'm really sorry I got a confession to make. I'm an idiot, basically. Well, I'm not an idiot. Windows Update is an idiot. So basically, I recorded the next episode of Infra, which you're all looking forward to. And because of a Windows Update, it boosted the gain of my audio interface, making it sound like I'm eating a microphone for the entire thing. But basically, we solved a puzzle to lower that bridge that was preventing us from progressing to the other side of the city. Do you remember this one? And then as we were walking across the bridge, we saw the substation power plant things exploding. Uh, then it was on fire, and then this side of the city had a power cut. We then watched a man sleep, cracked a safe, gave this car a parking ticket, set off an alarm, which filled this room with green gas and killed us, before finding some keys in a bird nest, finding a note that explained why there was keys in a bird's nest. The bird took my keys! Before we ended up here in some flats where we finished the video because we found this. <laughs> it's basically an eviction warning, but also a dirty process. Yep, that right there. That is a poo. I'm holding a poo. Oh god, I just threw a poo. <laughs> and that is also a photo. What the hell? Is that a trash bag? Why is that bin smoking a cigar? <laughs> this game has got very, very weird, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, essentially, we're still trying to get back to the office. We got a bit detoured because there's been some like explosions i think some of the town's infrastructure is finally failing there's like holes in roads and things on fire and obviously this entire side of the city is also in a power cut now all right i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit lost oh maybe i can just oh i can just drop down here that gate was shut i was like how do i get out you just drop down matt oh we've got a, we've got a loading screen we've got a loading screen which means we're going the right direction all right, so we're on some form of railway. So it looks like there's a station down here. The old, the lights aren't working. Oh God, what the frick? Uh, yep, everything's blowing up. So that is a photo. I think that might be a gas main. We'll stay away from that. We've got a train here that we can't get on, presumably because there was a power cut. There's always something a bit eerie about being in places that's meant to have people in. What is this? Should I go under here? It's a bit Resident Evil, isn't it? Either way, I think it's a broken elevator. No, it's not. Are you sure, game? I'm pretty sure this is a broken elevator. Oh, look, there's a door here. Oh, I don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure that's broken, though. Why is there a flammable barrel against sparks? I don't like the looks of this, if I'm honest. We're going to go up this ladder, though. All right, there's a lever here. Do I pull this? I'm a bit worried it might be the elevator, and I'll just drop. Oh, God, it was. <laughs> Well, that was a little bit terrifying. We can open this, though, and jump inside the elevator. Oh, now it's very Resident Evil. Okay, we're just going to have to leg it out and hope we don't get jumped enough. That really wasn't very fast running, Matt. <laughs> right, oh, look. Gas leaks up there. Another one there. Right, what's over this way? Another ladder. We'll go up here. Ah, I assume we're going to have to turn off these gas mains or whatever they are if we want to progress. This door's open. There's another way up here. Aha, we've got a hand valve. Sorry, hand wheel. Hand wheel. I did learn from earlier episodes. The question is, where does it go? Where do those pipes go? Oh, look, there's a valve up there. Can I get up that side? I think I can get up if I turn off this yellow one first. So where does the yellow go? Into this room. All right, so if we climb back up here, is there anything? Ah, oh, yes, look, there it is. In there, give her a twist. And then we drop back down. Aha, then we can get around that way. Sweet. So back up this ladder. We're along here without getting steamed. And then we should be able to turn off the blue one so we can go that way. So we're going along here. There should be a blue valve somewhere. There it is. Give it a turn. Head back along here and then we can go along there. I love how like we're not bothered like what we're turning on or off. All right, then we drop down here. Go down here and we're down at the train level. And they're at the maintenance access of 01. So we'll go in here. Oh, my bloke said he's been here before. It should get us closer to the office. Are we going to show three? It looks flooded. Should it be flooded? No, our bloke said no, it should not be flooded. Anyway, we'll head down here. Hopefully we won't drown. Oh, I found a generator. Can I turn this on, please? Generator's on. Oh, we've got light. We've got light. Oh, but now that water's sparking. So we can't go back. Hang on, I might need to turn this off because back in this water, I found this thing we could touch. So if we try and get this through, 
<laughs> I'm like Paddy trying to get a stick through a gate. <laughs> That's it, boy. Yes. Yes, Paddy. It looks easier when you're not a dog, but apparently it's not. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. All right, so we'll turn the power back on. And then we've got this if we need it. I'm not sure if we need it. I've just assumed that we might do. So I guess, well, I should probably just take it through here. So I think this is the only way we can go. <laughs> what? Imagine, like, <laughs> this in real life. Like, would I actually take a random plank of wood that I found? Oh, look, it goes there. <laughs> that was actually <laughs> very sensible map. One step ahead, apparently. All right, oh, look, now we found a big valve. Oh, I want to touch it. Should I twist it? I don't know. It's attached to that, which looks like a huge water pump. And then this, a generator, I guess. So if we turn it on, water should go through, spin a fan in there, which will create power. Maybe. I'm hearing electricity. I'm seeing puddles. Oh, we're just back at the start. Oh, okay. We're back at the start, but the power's turned on now. I understand. I know what's going on. I didn't actually check this room in the dark. Uh, but right, okay, we're gonna... Are we gonna give that a twist? Why not? Give it a twist, Matt. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> right, so now that's on. We've got a green light here. I can press this button. I've pressed the button. I don't know what I'm doing. Notice I'm a lot less cautious these days. <laughs> the amount of stuff I've been through in this game. I just play by my own rules now. Right, so where does that go? That goes into this machine. And then over there. And then out there. Through this door. Oh, and down to there. All right, of course, I found some rebar poking out. So that is a photo. Uh, not really sure what else I'm supposed to do, if I'm honest. But, uh, oh, look, this is open now. This was shut. So we'll head down here. All right, and here we go. There's a switch. I've opened the switch. This is opening. Ooh. Okay, in here, there is a train. Are we going to get to ride trains again? Oh, I hope so. I hope so. Turn it on. It turns on. And it moves. Oh, I've missed trains. Wait, 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 wait. wait. i got to check this room first. Got to check this room for stuff. Oh, there's a hard hat. I do wonder if I'm wearing a hard hat. I need to try and check my shadow a bit later. Come oh, on, there's, there's loads of drawers I can open. Don't know if I need any of these. Oh, look, batteries. Right, nothing else. So we'll jump on the train. And I'm guessing, are we just heading through here? Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Forwards. Are we just going to smash through this? Is this wise? Is this sensible? Yes, apparently it is. Oh, my character's just told me this tunnel leads to the office. The so Doris is in sight. Doris. I will be there. There's a lot of mushrooms down here. He's picking her a bouquet of mushrooms the same as a bouquet of flowers. I am not sure. Anyway, we're going that way. I'm going to stop and just make sure there's nothing going on here. I can actually change the tracks if I want to go this way. Oh, which I might want to do, because look down there. If we just head this way. The rails are blocked. There's been a cave-in. So that's a photo. And then we'll head back. All right, then we'll hit the switch. And then the rails should change. They've changed. So now when we jump on, we go left. Nice. All right, so up here, that is a photo. Leaking pipe. Another one. Just found all of this rebar as well. That is a photo. And then we're just cruising through this tunnel. There's like a abandoned trailer there. So I think that's a bit of a road. There was batteries on there as well. I'm going back for the batteries. I thank you. So yeah, that's an actual road there. Interesting. It's like some sort of weird maintenance tunnel. Right, anyway, we've come to a gate. I don't think we can get through it. It's got a padlock. So we'll turn this off for now. We'll head through this door. Oh god, it's dark in it. And this all seems in fairly good nick, to be honest. Another massive spiral staircase. So we'll head up here. Oh, look, more rebar. Look at that. That is not in good nick. All right, and then we can go up there or we can go through the fire exit. Let's see what's up here first. It's a locked door. Yeah. Oh, and what a surprise. It's flooded. That's a photo. So I wonder where we are now. Our bloke did say we're close to the office. We've got a loading screen. Imagine if I did just come back at the office. I'd be so happy. I'd go straight to Doris's desk. Oh, hang on. We're in a... I recognise this. Isn't this from the first... I think this is our office. It's all flooded. But this is the parking garage where we took our car out. And I'm going to stay on here because 
In floods, you're allowed to stand on cars. That's when it's socially acceptable to do so. But right, where's the office entrance? Over here. Yes, I remember these bloody frosted glass. Like, look at it. Our product of architecture. Oh, it matches the outside of the building that's got cladding in the same orientation as the... Oh, God, I hate them. I hate them. But we're finally out of the water. We are in the stairwell of our office. Oh, please be here. All right, here we are. We're in the main reception. Doris, I'm coming for you. Doris. D oh, she's not here. She's not here. Where is she? <laughs> this is her... D well, to be fair, it is like... I have no idea what time it is. But I imagine she's probably at home. Or she's still in that bar that we saw her in waiting for us to arrive. <laughs> and I want to leave her a message telling her how much I love her. Like, I feel like all this time underground, I've I've realized when I see her, I am going to propose. All right, anyway, we better go to our actual office. We've got a big report to write. So, up we go. All right, was it floor two? I don't think it was, but let's go explore what's out here. So, floor two, I think... What is going on here? They're worried about me. It's been like a year, mate. All right, so basically, flood emergency alert. The dam, do you remember the big dam that we we're taking photos of at the start? It flooded. The whole town is flooded. That's why there's water in the garage. Uh, that isn't Doris. I don't know who you are. Yeah, that's old Dave. You remember Dave from the first episode. There's John down there. Look, he's still got his broken ankle. Idiot. <laughs> he tripped on the stairs at the front. What a tip. Uh, there's our boss. He told us there's big trouble at the nuclear power plant. Um, these guys, apparently they're all heading over via helicopter. Uh, but they said it's such a rush that I can't wait for the helicopter. I have to go by myself in a car. Uh, this guy just said to me, like, literally, you got to go to the nuclear plant. you got to stop it from melting down. We'll follow you in a helicopter in, like, half an hour or something. This dude literally just laying down horizontal, like... Yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm sure you got it, mate. It's above my pay grade. One more time in case I don't see you again, Dave. <laughs> he never even flinches. He literally does not care. He just wants to do his job. Uh, also, we've just been told, if we head over here, we've been given an upgraded flashlight. Look at this. Wow. Man, look at this thing. It's got, like, lights in the back. All right, so we've just been given the new camera. We've been told that the batteries will last days. I can also make it brighter by clicking. Say cheese, Dave. Say cheese. <laughs> Dave, come on, man. There you go. There he is. <laughs> All right, apparently we can boost the light. I don't know how. I asked for a new camera as well, but he said no. But right, well, guys, wish wish me luck then. I, I'm risking my life going to a nuclear power plant that's melting down on my own. Any last words? No, all right. Not even eye contact. Great. Cheers, all. <laughs> all right, anyway, back out the fire exit. They still haven't cleared up this thing. That That's a photo. I'm taking another photo. I don't care if I took one earlier. That is a photo. All right, so I'm guessing we're taking one of these cars. Is it this one? No, it's not that one. Is it this one? Oh no, it's a truck, isn't it? All right, let's get in the truck. In the pitch black. Turn our lights on. There we go. All right, and we are off again. I'm gutted Doris wasn't in the office. Not gonna lie. Chapter 9, to save a city. Oh god, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We've been told there's a roadblock. So uh, we're now walking through. All right, let's see what's down here then. Oh look, they got power over there. Actually, all of this has power. I think we're, we're just out the city. Right, no idea what this space is. There's some sort of hangar there, a railway, a steamroller, and a forklift truck on its side. Oh, don't know what's through here. Right, that looks like a photo. That don't look good. That is a photo. Man, that is very flashy. Look how sparkly that metal is. Oh, look, we can get up here. Let's climb these boxes. What do we have here then? Danger keep out. They've got security cameras. Ooh, it's locked. I wonder if we can find a way into this. What's down here? We've got some green glowy stuff. Oh, it's another green lantern. Ooh, look, there's another one up there. Ooh, what is this one? Just someone's random camp in the woods. Oh, look, geocache. There's a geocache. I think they're just in-game collectibles. I'm not really sure what the point of geocaches are. Oh, look, there's a ladder up there. Shall we, shall we head inside this building? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, look. If you've ever seen, like, in big, like, warehouses and stuff, particularly, like, supermarkets, like, more modern ones, you actually see a lot of the beams. They do often have holes cut in like that. And that's purely to, like, save the cost down. So basically how beams work, they're sort of, like, eye-shaped. So the vertical bit, like, the bit in the middle, 
Now that sort, of, that sort of gives you strength against some forces. And then the bits along the top, like the, the flat bits of the eye, the horizontal pieces, they're called the flanges. Here, <laughs> flange. And now they give you strength in the other direction. Uh, but sometimes you sort of, you want a certain size beam, but you don't necessarily need all the strength in one of the directions. So what they do, they like, they cut holes in it to like save on metal, save on the weight of the beam itself. Uh, that's what's happened here. That's quite cool. Uh, also, what, what is this place? We'll hop down. We've got someone's dinner. We just threw someone's dinner. Oh no, look. There's a chicken breast on the floor. Oh, look, it's that mask. Didn't we see that earlier when we were tripping balls at that coffee machine? Oh, look, there's a fuse. We might need a fuse for something. Ah, oh, maybe this. Yes. Okay, we just got to find one more fuse. All right, keep an eye out for fuses. Can we go in this door? We can. Oh, man, there's, there's a lot of buttons here. Oh, it's a crane. Okay, so if we head out here, we can move this, I think. Yeah, I think we should be able to move this, so we can probably... Oh, what's that noise? What is that noise? Is it a train going past? First off, we need a few... Ah, a fuse. So we'll grab this, pop you in. Oh, what a shot. Straight in the hole. And then we'll go to these controls. I don't know what all of these ones do. Bloody hell. Can we turn it on? No, balls. Okay, we might need to try and fix this up then. Do we just need like one on each or something? All right, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Does that help? No. L, one, two, three, four. Are they all L's? They're all L's. Hey, look, there's a lathe. A lathe that I called a milling machine earlier. Oh, and a key. Oh, and someone's been lathing bottles, I see. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's a crowbar. Can I do anything with this? All right, I'm not sure how to solve this puzzle. Whether I just brute force it. Do I have the patience for that? There must be something in here that tells me. What if I break this window? It didn't break the window. <laughs> it's either so obvious that I'm missing something or I'm an idiot. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you know how to solve this one? I feel like I'm very much trapped unless I can just fix some of these. I don't really know what I'm meant to do. So we'll leave it there. Sorry about the intro. Sorry we sort of missed an episode, but we're back now. Back in infra, right? Peace, love, and insolvable puzzles. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.